Alright, so we came to Camp Camping World. It is four sixteen. Uh-huh. Their website said they close at seven. Well, that gate is closed, for sure. The gate's closed, but I don't know if they're having like a private event or something. Parking lot. It's kinda empty, but maybe the employees park in the back. Maybe it's safety. People. Say, maybe, they change it, yeah. maybe people are coming and stealing RVs like they're stealing chicken from Walmart. Mm-hmm. Huh? Doors open. If you walk around over here, um, those are seat glass. Because those, those are the A's, but there's ones that are a little bit. Somebody falls one day, and I'm guessing that whoever fell was probably either older in age, which made it even worse but for corporate to come in i when she when they said we couldn't come out here i initially assumed it was going to be because they would keep all these unlocked that somebody made a home in one and they they found like people trying to sleep in these things and of course that's not going to work well for people coming in the next day wanting to walk through to buy that was interesting because uh we were told we couldn't come out here to walk but we are out here to walk but uh so, so this one, this is a consignment. It's got a, it's yeah, been it's registered. This thing is huge. These are the ones you see on the freeway that I'm like, what rock star is in this? Look at the butt on this one. I like the tail lights on this one. Yeah, these are Venetian, Integra, Tiffin. These are probably two, three, maybe four hundred thousand, maybe more. I would say more. Where is it? Where's Lower class A. And a giant flag. The camp, the RV spots always have these giant flags. This is still a big one, but there's one that's a little bit shorter than this. Yeah. I don't know what to call it, but I think those, one of those would be fun to try to rent or <laughs> take out sometime. I mean, I, I I definitely would say rent. Yeah. But I would rent a, I just rent a full size A. I would never drive it. You'd be stuck driving the entire I'd rent a full size that, A. That terrifies me. That's bigger than a school bus, so I could figure out a school bus, but that is huge. It ain't nothing. I like this one with a little. I don't know why I like this one. I like this one. Oh, so she said they, they buy them. Uh-huh. Okay. They buy them from you and then they turn around and sell them. Got it. I'm in a full consignment. Got it. So what is this? This is like a C plus? Because this thing's massive, but it's on a cab thingy up front. It's just an E350. Uh, it's just an E450. But is this considered a C class? Yeah. Okay. But this is a massive Bigger than one that we had we almost bought a C class like this. A this, smaller one. No, it was this size. The oh used the used one at NIRBC. But child, was the one we looked at this big? No, she wasn't there that day. Oh. They just got it. They just got it, and then we went and looked at the A or the B. Yeah, that's true. I think one of the if we're gonna ever do it again, we can't do a B class as nice as it was to be able to just take it and park it anywhere. It, there's not enough space if you're going to use it for what it's intended for. I mean... Not with three people and a dog if we need to take the dog. Yeah, do it again would be, a, be an A. Do it again and do better. What is it? What is that phrase? Yeah, do again or do better. Yeah. It'd be an A. See, but I like I like the jet outs so that you do have all that room. When they did that um, boat show and RV show at Destin Commons, walking through some of those, it was like, man. Yeah, I can I, see why when people get older, the couples, they sell their homes, they get an RV, and they just go. But I'm not interested in setting up a travel trailer and leveling it every time. Like, oh, no. Ooh. A hard pass. Ooh, what's ooh? Can I see it? What's in there? Look. Nice. Describe it. Use your words. Seats. Oh. Darkness. But nice. Spacious. Uh-huh. With a table and two reclining seats and a couch. That's spacious. I don't know if you can get that. I don't know how to describe it. So you say leveling, meaning the class B we had to level, or do you mean one of these, like a fifth wheel kind of thing? Because wouldn't you still need to level a class A? Yeah, but it's got uh, it's got the hydraulics built in. It'll these you have to crank these. Crank you that gotta, soldier boy. You got to get under there and crank those jokers. <laughs> so here's my question: Where can you rent a class A? Anywhere. Uh, you say I mean, anywhere, but I. We could go to, I mean, the only place I know off the top of my head is Lightning RV in Lawrenceville. So that's like, they we, only oh, rent. Oh, my gosh. That's what we should do. Oh, my gosh. That's what we should do. Listen, 
Fourth of July, when we go back to visit the family, she wants to stay with the grandmas and hang out for a while. You and I could rent the Class A and test it out and see what it's like. All right, we'll call Lightning RV. No. Oh, do you want to go to that one? Yes. Okay, so we'll go to that and then bring you back. That one? Yes, the big, big. Like the front one's up there. The Class A. Well, and then we could do that and then come back for G's birthday. We could figure this out because that sounds fun. What are you talking about? We don't have to get a hotel room. All we got to do, we have KOA, we have Harvest Host. I don't know if Where? a Harvest Host will let you take a class. No, I might do a Harvest Host again. No, okay. So we have KOA. Where? Up the East Coast. I really like the blue No, eyeliner. KOA is everywhere. We'll, we'll do it up the East Coast, but your blue eyeliner, I love it. It's not the one that bothered your eyes, eyes though, right? That was the other one? All right. I don't even know. We're about to find out. If her eyelids are puffy later, it's because of that eyeliner. I think she has an allergic reaction to something. I guess they're doing it. just because I don't really put stuff on my water line, so it makes it weird. They're so cleaning up that one, maybe. Oh, look how nice that bathroom is. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. There's stairs. Why are there those there's stairs to go up to the... Oh, wow. Oh, this it's is bonkers. Oh. You guys can come in it. Sorry, we're... We're, we're cool. just walking around looking at all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're more than welcome to come in it while I've got it open. Oh, yeah? Thank you so much. This one's actually really nice to me. Oh, it smells really good, too. Which is another weird thing you could possibly say. They're getting real creative with these designs. Oh, it's crazy. You have no idea. So you'd rather get an RV than a house? Cause this oh, is wow. Nice. This is nice. Look at that. You forget how... how it's crazy. It's like a house on a wheel. Like, like legitimately is. Oh, it's just it's comfortable. Wow. Okay, so here's the, here's what I've decided. Sit. Here's what I've decided. Once you turn 18 and are Sit. gone, Dad and I are just Sit. gonna have one of these and just travel the country. That's and what's gonna happen. Do you have seatbelts in here? Now I'm just sitting here. And <laughs> well, no, because this will be closed in if it's moving. Because and you these can't are, sit in a trailer with. Yes, is something. This has nothing on this one. <laughs> okay. They're comfortable. Oh wow, those are nice and shiny floors. They're marble. Because that's Marble. what you need in your mm -hmm. fifth, this is a fifth wheel? This one is a drive, this one's a diesel. Okay. Let's see. This is really comfortable. Babe, look at this picture. Look at this kitchen. That's better than houses that we've been in. It's got a dishwasher, it's got everything. That's crazy. That is, so this thing, this thing's got to be is super fifth expensive. Wheel. I don't even know how expensive fifth wheels end up going for. Oh, the diesel's got marble, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How much? I seen a lot of them go up to 175. 175? Yeah. Look, it's the same refrigerator we had at the, at the other at, house. Yes, at the house. That's the refrigerator we had at the house. Size, right? That is ridiculous. Is really That's a very good sized kitchen. Look at the, the thing in the table. And a gap. Okay, look. Look. Here we are looking for a house to move into. Oh. What we need to do is just plunk some money down on a piece of land and uh, get one of these jokers and call it done. Bug, don't push me. We can go buy 101 acres and crush you. Okay. There's two bones in that loft. Inside or outside? That's what I asked her. She says inside. I figured she would. They don't like the way this Can I do one of the chicken tender baskets, please? May I please get um, like that fried? The chicken tenders? Yes. Oh, I forgot there was an option for grilled. My bad. Um,
So this is the inside was her choice. Yeah. This is where you would rather be.
What if I got to pee? <laughs> I know I don't have to go to the bathroom, but... I don't do it because I know I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. Like, scooping up sand uh, is annoying as hell. Why don't you just carry them? I don't want to hold them. Why don't you just say give them I to me? I just got to make it like 45 feet. Okay. And this treacherous aggregate. A lot of people spit on uh, parking lots too. That thing that you g gross men do. Oh, Gwinnett County. Oh, yeah. There you go. Probably doing those things. Now, this is a new experience. We've never been to this beach. We've never been here. This We've driven the by Navarre it a beach, bajillion times. Public Navarre Beach. <clears throat> Babe, what are you going to do if the treads are hot? Burn the bottom of my feet off? Yep, accurate. Well, we'll go up the stairs and then you don't have to worry about it as much. <clears throat> I think I saw your car like right here. Um, uh, that's somewhere. It's near a blue truck. Never been over there either. It looks nice from here at the. We've been over there. Not Andy D's. We we went to the other place. Remember when that we docked the boat? Suck. Yeah. Man. No bueno. No bueno. Not yours. <clears throat> Somebody's. They got the volleyball. They got a little thing over here too. I didn't know they had a pier over here. Uh huh. I don't even think you have to pay for that pier, like the one in uh, Fort Walton, Okaloosa area. You have to pay to go down that pier. Remember? Now, granted, it is a Wednesday, but it is summer. It's pretty empty over here. Well, maybe the yellow flag has something to do with it. Oh, I guess we could have just gone that way too. <laughs> what? There's a lot of people on the pier too. Fishing and whatnot. Look, immediately, I love that. No fishing in designated swimming area. Mm. Where is it? Our section, you see people that come up and they put like five rods in the sand and then whatever. And it's like, people are trying to walk here. I don't want to clothesline myself on your fishing line, but also I don't want to actually get caught in your in your hook out there. Well, technically there's no dogs on the beach and they bring dogs on the beach. So there's, that. there's a sign doesn't mean people are going to listen. That's true. Choose. <clears throat> Look, if there were only, there's like a piece of hair on my face somewhere, I can feel it. If there were only tables right there, this would make me think of Gulf Shores when we went and it had the pier and there was the restaurant with the tables. Oh, you're right. I don't know why it makes me think of it and Fort Walton doesn't, but which way are you going, left or right? Because this is already a nicer beach. Yeah. Nicer beach than Fort Walton. I don't feel like Fort Walton Beach is a bad beach. It's already, a, it's like, let's just say it's a different crowd. There we go. We'll go with that. Well, they do say that Navarre is definitely a calmer, tamer area because the there's not much to do. Place in Florida. That's what they say. Because there's not really anything to do here. This beach smells like a bathroom. This beach smells like a bathroom? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Maybe that's just your nose, because I don't smell it. I don't know. I don't smell it, kid. You think the water's warm or not warm? Oh, I like the striped nice. bathing suit. Totally off topic, but striped bathing suit, it's I like that. Same. That's cute. Yeah. Da, da. You say that as I step on something sharp. Well, because there's more shells up here. But that could have been because of yesterday. There was rain.
What's the, is that like a floaty board if somebody needs to go save somebody? Oh. Keep off protected dunes. Look, he's doing the metal detector. Like, how much are you going to find with a metal detector? You'd be surprised. Really? Apparently, like one guy. He found, found an engagement ring? He found a ton of gold. And then something happened, and then overnight, <clears throat> it was gone. Did he really find it then? The FBI ended up finding it after him. Oh. Like, he said something. I was about to say, this was like a Goonies movie. It was gone. You not going to go see what it is? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it unhooks. I guess Do it not is. use rescue tube if you can't swim. Call 911 before entering the water. Keep watch on victims and rescuers in water. Have someone help direct emergency personnel. So it is a, in case there's not a lifeguard over here, because I saw the golf cart, go-kart, whatever they're called Mule. for the, huh? Side by side. Sure, whatever it's called. But there's only, how is it a side by side? There's nothing next to it. There's two seats, side by side. I feel like you're making things up. Anyway, I saw one of those go by that normally has like a lifeguard person in it. Um, but I guess that's if they're not here, you can at least get started in trying to save somebody's life. Are we going down to the water? You can go wherever. Chai, you gonna touch the water? Okay, let's go. All right, what are the odds it's warmer or colder? I feel like it should be warmer here than it was up there. You touch it first. You ready? All right. Huh. No, it's not cold. It feels good. It's not cold, but it's cooler. It feels better than when we went out into the water whatever day we went with Brother-in-law, sister-in-law. Nope. But this sand feels gravelly underneath in the water, whereas it doesn't feel like that in Destin. Right? Doesn't it feel rougher under your feet here in the water? Maybe not. You're not gonna do it? Is that nope? So this is Navarre Beach. For anybody keeping track, this is Navarre Beach in comparison to Fort Walton, Okaloosa. Fort Walton, Okaloosa. Oh. Technically, we uh, didn't walk down into Beasley. Okay, not on that video. No. We do have another video in, at Beasley, but we didn't walk it like that. Okay. And then in comparison to Crab Trap, Destin. Yeah. But I do like the pier, but it's only if you're gonna go fishing. So I wonder if that up there is where they sell bait or something. But then I would assume that at the front, you can get the fishing poles or whatnot. But there's definitely more family here, more kids. Do you want to hold my hand? Well, there ain't that many people here. Yeah, you do. You want to hold my hand? Hold it. They're doing snorkel stuff or just looking for stuff under the water. Now, I think it's great they have on the goggles and they're looking for stuff, but the mom and me looks over and all I see is a child face down floating in water and I immediately have a small heart attack. And <clears throat> it's like, how long do you sit there and stare at them to make sure they're not drowning before it's weird? You know what I mean? That was my thought. Oh, I was like, what the? I thought an alarm was about to go off. Sound like the fire alarms in the apartment. <laughs> What's really cool here is when yeah. you look that way, there's nothing. No buildings, you can't see the parking lot, no cars. Now you had mentioned when everybody was uh, staying with us, uh -huh. how bad it would suck if we had the alarm go off. Oh yeah, <laughs> that would've been awful. If the alarm went off while we were all <laughs> there. Ellie would've, would've been, been pissed. Oh yeah, especially if it happened in the middle of the night. It would've scared her immensely. Get it. He was like, I was totally going to get that, sir. <laughs> he almost had it. 
You talking smack? Who? A little kid. A little kid? He looked at you like, did you not know that was mine? <laughs> he was like, mm. He, he looked at me like that little kid from Hangover at the police oh, station. Yeah. People were asking me about this seaweed stuff, the little green ones. The sar sargum, so, something like that. Onyx sorghum? No. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, wait. They're fishing. You want to go knock all their shit over? <laughs> throw no. it in the ocean? No. Kick sand in their mouth? But no. He doesn't have it set up and in there. They're standing in there doing it. I feel like that's different. And there's nobody over here swimming. So I do feel like, although they are breaking the rules, they're breaking them um, correctly. Oh, Lord. You and your progressive left-wing liberal thinking. Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? Are you don't want everybody to know you voted Democrat? What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> you don't crack. But we ended up eating at Dewey Destin, which I am assuming that the Dewey Destin in Navarre isn't the original Dewey Destin based on the name. No, the original is the one that's in the Chocotahulala Bay. How is the one in Navarre the best one? Because it's not touristy. The menu is different than the one on 98. It is. The one on 98 is better than the one in the ocean. The one in the ocean. The one in the, the bay is the one we went to the very first time. We got the new True. potatoes, was, we got the we corn, like and it was really, really good. Yeah. But the second time we went back there, my popcorn shrimp was like frozen stuff. You could have got like Chinese, little Chinese shrimp, you know what I'm talking about? They put in the fried rice. It was like those. It was not good at all. So I haven't really wanted to go back there. Then we went to the one on 98, which is Harbor Front, and I liked it a lot. They had um, scallops and like cheesy bread. <laughs> it was super good. But Dewey Destin's in Navarre is the absolute best one. I think it's because the service is really friendly. The view is really pretty. It doesn't feel touristy at all. And it's locals. I mean, obviously it's locals that work at all of them, but I feel like they're like legit locals because they can afford to live where they work. You know? You know. I like how when you look at feet print in the sand, it just looks like toes. You barely ever see the full foot. It's always just like toes dug in. It's calm out here. Huh? It's calm out here. It is calm out here. Should have brought a chair, have a seat, pop a squat. Necessities. You always gotta have chairs and blankets or towels. I have it in my Jeep. I have a bag in my Jeep. It has a shirt, some shorts, two books, two towels, and a empty water bottle in case. In case of what? I don't know, but it's there. I only load up when it's time to go. So. Let's step on that. <laughs> any impromptu random beach visit when I, I'm not prepared. So then you gotta do the same thing. You gotta have a bag in your trunk that has three towels. I said I need to go to Sam's Club and buy more towels. I've realized that once we had people visiting that although when it's just the three of us, we have plenty of towels, but when we have people with us and we do the ocean and then the pool and whatever, we don't have nearly enough towels, so we need more. But you need to have a little bag like I do with just towel, whatever, not a book, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. I love shells and it's already cleaned because it was uh, high up. Do you want it? Okay. Yeah, okay. Hold, please. Thank you. I was trying to see if there's any more good ones. Then I realized I don't want my shorts soaking wet because blue jeans, blue jean shorts wet on the thighs. Ooh. This is really pretty. So it is 610. Okay. I think they're supposed to change daylight savings next, next time. Uh-huh. So it would be 
710 now or 510? I don't know. Spring forward, fall back. I think it would make it so that it's darker sooner. Yeah, right now it's darker like later. all the time. They won't do that here in Florida. They do it in Arizona, I think. Well, Arizona doesn't have the Gulf Shore, the Gulf, whatever. They won't do that here. If anything, they would make it the later one. So it's, well, no, because the whole point is right now, sunrise is 5.43 a.m. Trust me, the light wakes me up every morning. 5.43 a.m. so you can go out and fish sooner. And it's dark, uh, light, light longer too at the same time. It's like the perfect time. You get the longest days possible. Yeah, but I think they would destroy summer. If they changed it? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Anybody trying to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning just, you know, to start summer? No, not at all. You're going to mess up the microphone. No, stop. <laughs> That seagull made me think of Little Mermaid. Scuttle. Because that's the intro. There's the seagulls. Do you want to go watch it? I want to see it too. 3D? I don't know how I feel about 3D, th 3D fishes. 3D. <laughs> that would be cool. If you watch it in 3D, it's not going to be the problem. You know how they have 3D? Yeah, but that, there's only at 245. So we see it tomorrow at 245. I don't want to go tomorrow. I can't guarantee tonight. It's well, already 6.30 and we still got to drive like an hour back. Boulevard. Oh, what oh, time is it start? The one at Grand Boulevard. How far is that? Tonight? Yeah. What time is the one tonight? For three, uh, 9 p.m. 9 o'clock. And then the regulars are 6. Which is not going to happen. Which is not going to happen. So. <laughs> and then the one in the commons is 6.25, 7.30, 8.30 or 9.40. So 8.30 or 9.40. To watch Little Mermaid? Yeah. The Disney movie? Uh-huh. No! We can't watch it in 4D, so we gotta watch it in 3D. So do Classic Boulevard, whatever it's called, at 9. We're because not gonna make it all the way down there. But it's a Disney movie. That? I know. How far is it? <laughs> she loved Disney. I know. <laughs> Where is Ariel? Why don't you wait and we watch it with the grandmas when we're in uh, Disney Springs? Did you check to see if they have 4D? Say what? I saw a video one time where somebody was walking up and down the beach and they ran into it like because they weren't supposed to be doing that and he came back with his pocket knife and cut the lines i got mine breaking the rules but let those people live they're they're out of the way so more people down there yeah way more you can see from here well it's kind of hard to tell but because that's where the condos are looking blind that's where the condos are there's a ton of people down there well that was Navarre Beach, <laughs> sort of, because we didn't go too far. Uh, but now we're going to head out and head back. Maybe watch this movie. I don't know. Probably not. Mm -hmm. Probably. Really? I don't know. Don't have to. Want to do that? It's the one where they sit in that little chair. It's an electric chair or gas powered chair. No. <laughs> Brave. Would you do it? No. You won't crack. Now, I say no, but I probably like that better than parasailing because I would feel like I had some control over that. Whereas par parasailing, you're just tethered to somebody's boat and you well, have to parasailing, help. parasailing, you fall into the water. In theory, unless you get, you've seen that video where there's a storm there's coming a in. There's a 100% chance you're going to hit the ground on this one. <laughs> Why? He's still over the water. Oh. Uh, I didn't know it was, okay. Yeah, the water over there. But there's that video that's on uh, YouTube where there was that storm that was coming in and there was all these people trying to help this boat fix their, their thing. Was, it was so windy, they couldn't get the parasailer in and then the cord snapped. And I don't know what happened to that person. Probably never seen again. <laughs>